so I am over here at the shop today. We're gonna get started. We gotta, we gotta get this out of here. This, the Cosmos have died. They've all gone to seed. I'm never gonna get the Cosmos out of this plump front planter bed, but look at this. The honeysuckle grew more than I thought it did. I needed it to get up high and grow up these uh, obelisks. Obelisks, obelisks, I don't know how you say it. Obelisk. <laughs> anyway, uh, to grow high so that they could get past these cosmos and thrive. And it looks like if I carefully pull some of these out, the vines got way out over there. So I'm excited about that because we want the honeysuckle to grow good and get big. Also, we've got these guys here that last all winter long. They don't really die. And I want to save those. So I'm gonna pull as many of these Cosmos out as carefully as I can, because these are all in here. The Cosmos will come back next year. No way around that. I've just got tons and tons of flowers just seeded themselves like crazy in here. But we love the Cosmos, so that's fine. I'm gonna start pulling them out. Little dusting of snow last night. Not enough to break the tractor out, but we're gonna use this grapple to haul lots of Cosmos and put them in this dump trailer over here. Can I tell you how much I love being able to secure the cab, keep the seat out of the weather? Let's fire her up here. It is a diesel, I'm gonna warm up those plugs. Give it about 10, 12 seconds. And we'll let her sit and warm up here. I should have worn my beanie. The wind is blowing and it is chilly. Let's crank the heater up in here because I'm going to be out there pulling those by hand. So Leslie asked me on the channel what the grapple does. And that is this big claw out in front. So I'm gonna load the grapple up and then I can clamp down and carry all the weeds and bushes without having to worry about it falling out and go dump them in the trailer. Well, that took longer than I was thinking it would. <laughs> the sun is trying to come right here. The building's blocking it. <laughs> it's coming around the corner. It is so cold. I had to go sit inside the tractor a couple times, uh, warm my hands up because I'm getting old and my hands get cold easy apparently. Um, but this side's mostly done. I'm gonna probably come in and rake it a little bit. The honeysuckle's gonna stay. This is like a milkweed. We do wildflowers up in here. These. I can't, Jamie knows the name of these. I can't remember the name of these little ones. I'm sure all of you know. Um, Jamie's, Jamie's the big flower girl. She loves the flowers. But the honeysuckle, this one I don't think is doing as well as the bed over there. I might need to amend the soil a little bit. That was a lot of flowers that are right there all smashed up. But time to get this one out. We'll see if my hands will hold up. All right, now I just need to sweep and rake up and smash this down. So there's the pile. I've already smashed it twice, but I'm gonna smash it with the grapple and then I'll come out back out here and show you what it looks like. So you can see how well that grabs that. This is gonna be super handy for moving boulders at the property, uh, large trees, small trees, brush, all kinds of stuff. It's so handy. It's like having a big claw out in the end of your tractor.
All right, I'm not gonna bore you to death watching me sweep, but I'm sweeping the walk off. Hopefully these skies will hold out a little bit. It had a little snow flurry while I took a break, but it's the sun over there. It's out, but there's not a lot of gap in these clouds. So I'm not hopeful that we don't get a bunch of snow tonight. All right, I don't know if that's looking much better. <laughs> It's winter time, right? But I can you come get the weed whacker and get all this cleaned out. But maybe maybe another day. It's good enough that if it snows, I'm not gonna sweat it if it never gets out from underneath the snow the rest of, until spring. It's a little cold outside. Everybody's starting to get a little under the weather. So I'm gonna make a chicken soup. Excuse the lighting down here. It's like five o'clock and dark here in Utah right now. So chicken broth, I got some chicken. I grabbed some... Uh, corn, I grabbed some peas, and then I also grabbed some evaporated milk because that needs to get eaten up. And then I came over here, I think I'm gonna do a whole quart of carrots, and then we're gonna add some potatoes to it as well. Oh, also, freeze-dried zucchini. I think that'll be enough, that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna put these in the blender, powder them up, and use that to thicken it up. This is, this is what I went shopping for earlier, I forgot to show you. Um, so chicken, corn, we have frozen chicken, but some of this stuff needs to start getting eaten up. So we're gonna, we're gonna go through it first. And the frozen chicken I'll do for like stir fries and, and fresh things until it gets to the point where we're like, okay, that's been in a freezer a minute. Let's start making a soup out of it. Some potatoes. I'm going to peel those up real quick and then I will put those in. We're going to cube them. All right, we got some freeze dried zucchini. These are actually from last year. I'm going to powder these up. I'm gonna use this to thicken the soup up. Now you just dump it all in. We got potatoes, carrots. I'm not gonna drain the water off of any of these. That's gonna be like stock in my soup. Salt, pepper, the chicken, some onions, and then the powder. We're gonna go. If I drain the liquid, then I gotta add water. Lots of onions, the chicken. I just got a shower. Jamie's like, all you need is tomatoes now. She's over there under her lovely throw. They can't see that you're just out of the shower. You're a tiny little speck on the screen. Hey, I'm just here for support. All right, I may need to add more of this, but I'm gonna let this boil. Come on. <laughs> all right, it's gonna be a lovely green color. So it's gonna be like a pea soup because of all of that zucchini. But we've got more if we need to thicken it up in a minute. Almost forgot pepper. I'm gonna wait until we're getting close to done because a lot of these veggies had salt in them. So I'm gonna see where we're at with salt once it's combining a little more. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down to medium heat and just let it simmer and thicken for a little bit. Don't let the green throw you off. That's a bunch of delicious ingredients in there. All right, we're about to boiling. This is coming together nicely. Most of the ingredients in here have already been pressured, canned, cooked. So a lot of this, I mean, other than the potatoes, we just need to heat it up and thicken it up for a bit, and then we'll be good to go on eating. What's it gonna need, Jamie? Cheese, sour cream, and Cholula. I agree. Not as green as I thought it would be. It's not quite a pea soup, but super delicious. I've been taste testing it along the way as the potatoes got softened up and we are ready to eat this. I've got probably about a gallon and a half of soup. I think this is a three gallon pot, maybe a gallon of soup, but if it doesn't all get eaten tonight, 
I've got my taster panel ready, then we'll have soup for a couple days. And I'm excited about that because we got a storm coming in. We just got done eating soup and here comes the snow. It's gonna be a lot of plowing in the morning. I know it's not crepes. We'll get to the crepes in just a little bit here. Dinner tonight, some of that chicken we cooked up. This just has salt and garlic powder to season a little bit just to taste. And then in here, we've got some veggies with some dried onions going. A little bit of oil, just a little bit of avocado oil. Same in there, avocado oil, keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Water is starting to boil, looks like it's ready. And dump the rice in. Not doing anything in the rice. I would normally salt it, but we're gonna do soy sauce and soy sauce is really salty, so I'm not gonna salt the rice. All right, chicken's done. Got it combined over here with the veggies. Stir that around a little bit. And we're ready for the soy sauce. There you have it. That's a full meal right there. No need for anything else. All right, I told you guys we were gonna do crepes, so we're gonna do crepes. We're gonna get the dry ingredients first. This is kamut flour. I'm gonna just stick with a cup of it. It's higher in protein, so it does react a little bit differently in baking. Usually you do about three quarters of a cup to one cup if the recipe calls for one cup of AP flour, but I'm going all in one cup. And then what you do, I've got, usually it's one to one. So I've got a half a cup of water and you would go half a cup of milk is this actually an important part? I used to just go all milk, but it would be too thick and I'd always have to add a ton of milk. So with the kamut flour, I go three quarters cup and I, of milk. And I also do the same thing if I'm using um, like a almond flour or an oat flour that's gluten free, same, same thing with the three quarters cup of milk. So, all right, real quickly, one cup flour, half cup water, three quarters cup milk with the kamut flour or the gluten-free flours. If you're using AP flour, all-purpose flour, one cup flour, half cup water, half cup milk, you'll be fine. All right, now two eggs. Does it matter if they're room temperature? No. Ours are always room temperature because they live on the counter. And then I am gonna do calls for a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just do two pinches because I like a lot of salt. And then two tablespoons melted butter and you whisk that up like crazy. It's gonna look really eggy because our eggs are farm fresh eggs. Yours may not look this. Ours is just gonna be more yolky. yellow because of the yolks because they're, they're richer yolks and they're bigger. You have more yolk than whites on farm fresh eggs. We have free range chickens. A good nonstick pan. I usually go about medium heat. This has been warming up for a minute. And then about three quarters of a cup. I like a nice big crepe. Glop it in the middle. And then you run it around in a circle. This one's gonna be thick. I might need to add a little more water. If you find that it's not running good on your pan, add more water. And if you don't whisk good, you're gonna get lumps of flour. So watch out for that. All right, so you can get a spatula if you want. This one's gonna be thicker, but it doesn't take long to cook. Once you start getting a couple little air bubbles, flip that over and, you know, maybe 30 seconds on this side, the second side, when, you, when it's starting to be done, you'll be able to really move it around the pan. It won't stick. Meanwhile, while I'm over flipping crepes, that one's almost done. Jamie is getting the, the filling ready. It's pretty basic. You don't have to do a whole ton with the filling. I'm gonna show you what I do because I don't eat sugar. You want some bananas? But Jamie's gonna use whipped cream. Yeah, let's do some bananas. And do we have raspberries too? Yeah, we have raspberries, bananas. Um, and I was telling Deb, I'm like, I do cook. I feel like this channel is a lot of Zeb. It's because I, I film. Zeb does like the more like specialty he's gonna film it. I'm like the day to day, like last night I made rice and gravy, like that kind of cooking. And I was editing a video, so I didn't, I didn't film you while you did that. You should have filmed I do, yourself. I do know how to cook though. Maybe we'll do a gravy video because it's surprising how many people can't make like a basic white. I gravy. struggle. I struggle with gravy actually. Really? I always make it too gloopy. Oh. All right, this one's done, and it's very thick. We're gonna try again. 
thinner batter. So sometimes when you're cooking, baking, if things aren't just going the way you want, like that batter was a little thick, even with my extra water or extra milk. And so I added some more water to it. Look at that, look at that move, well, so much easier. Also, this pan is, is pretty new, but you can tell the kids have used it with sharp objects, it's all scraped up. So now we've got really, that's like a full-size burrito crepe. I use these for all sorts of things. That's why I only put salt. You could season your crepes however you want, savory, sweet, but I like to leave them plain because I use them for sweet and for like savory stuff like breakfast burritos and burritos. Jamie's going sweet. Sometimes I make my own whipped cream, but sometimes I'm lazy. Strawberry jam. Yeah. Tell them about your syrup. So this is homemade buttermilk syrup, but then I melted milk chocolate in it and it makes the best chocolate sauce. I like it better than like Hershey's or whatever. Wrap it up. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on. You forgot your nuts. No, I put those on top. Oh, your strawberries. I put all the stuff inside and outside. So I like to do that and then it's a double-decker. It's basically dessert. So this is pretty much a full dessert meal for the day. Or like the week. <laughs> My prettiest crepe, but it'll taste good. I like nuts. I feel like you're too hungry. You're just like, okay, you can film me, but I'm just gonna eat this like a regular person. It's this isn't this isn't crepe. the vlog, the vlogger picture. Ta-da! It all tastes, it's like I tell the kids, it all tastes the same once it's down. I'm gonna have some bacon later, so it'll up the protein game. Because I avoid processed sugars, I mean, there's not actually a lot of sugar in this whipped cream. It's, there just isn't. But I use cottage cheese as my filling. And then I put just a little bit. This is maple syrup from Costco, organic, making it straight in Canada just a little bit to sweeten it, stir that up. And this is what I'll mix in with my berries and fruit. And it is super good. Jamie, how do you feel about maple syrup? Um, that's gonna be a no for me. I like maple syrup, not my cottage cheese. <laughs> I love it. It's super great once you get it mixed in with the fruit. On mine, I skipped the jam, lots of sugar in there. Just gonna do some fruit. I'm not skipping on the bacon like Jamie did. She's not skipping either, she's having bacon. So thanks for watching today's video, all of our cooking. We're actually um, headed out to a wrestling tournament. Yeah, Jack already wrestled this morning. He got third place in his grade and weight category. Redrick is about to wrestle, uh, but lots of cooking this week. We've got some projects coming up, so stay tuned for those in the next little bit. We're probably next Hold on, I'm week. I'm gonna get buckled up. Oh yeah, I get buckled. Before you get on the main road, <laughs> I didn't know you're gonna drive off. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna drive off. <laughs> uh, so next week, I'm hoping to build a table or do something uh, something along those lines because I promised Jamie a table for Christmas and I got a week to do it. So we're gonna do that on here and show you guys what we're up to. We'll see you guys on the next episode.